So, hallelujah. So, pangunahan po natin with um, a verse that says in Psalms 145, verse 16, ang sabi po doon, being the foundation of our uh, uh, team for this year, which is the open hand of grace, ang sabi po ng Psalms 146, verse 16, you open your hand and satisfy the desire of every living thing. So, ito po ay mensahe po, as you can see, the whole passage of Psalms 145 talks about God's faithfulness, talks about uh, God's generous sustenance to His people. Uh, David is describing the beauty of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, yung pong kanyang uh, kadakilaan, His greatness, His loveliness, and even how God sustains His children, His people. This is prophetic in a way na alam po ni David, ganun ang nature, ang likain ng ating pong Panginoon. So, the David declares as the, the verses declares, uh, doon po sa mga from first uh, verse hanggang latter verse of uh, Psalms 145, it passes through with this message that says, When you open your hand, Lord, you will satisfy and you satisfy the desire of every living thing. So, tayo pong lahat ay nabubuhay, it is God who can only su sustain, bless, and supply all of us. And even if we tried many things, it will just, ano, alam niyo po yun, parang, Hindi lahat ng dumadating sa atin ay ay uh, uh, sabihin natin nakaka-satisfy. Because even if you have much, if you don't have things in your life, na lang sa tingin mo parang deprived ka. But if you have the presence of God, you will be satisfied. It is His love, it is His presence. Kasi ma makamtan mo ang lahat, halos lahat ng meron sa mundo. If you still lack God in your heart, you still miss the very big part of your life. But if you don't have much in your life, amen, hindi man, hindi man natin naranasan ang karam, karangyaan, karamihan po ng, ng ino-offer ng mundo sa atin. But if we have this very one thing, which is God's presence, God's love, and God's grace, you are sure are complete. Tayo pong lahat ay kompleto. Because only Jesus, only God can satisfy. When God opens His hand, He makes sure everyone is satisfied his, in, in, his, in her desire. Amen? Hallelujah. And also, Sabi po ng Deuteronomy 28 verse 12, another passage mentioned by our Bishop Willie. Hallelujah. Sabi po dito, The Lord will open to you. Ang Diyos ay magbubukas para sa atin of His good treasures. The heavens. Ano po yung good treasures? All that heaven has. Amen? Kung ano yung meron ng langit, bubuksan ng Panginoon sa, para po sa kanyang mga anak. Sabi po dyan, to you. The Lord will open to you. Not to anyone else. Not to everyone else. But to you who have faith na merong pananampalataya, merong pong good impression about God, the Lord can open His treasures, His heart, the heaven, and to give you the rain, the land in your season, and to bless all the work of your hand. As we have discussed, hallelujah, bago mo pa man, bago mo pa man maranasan ang pagpapala ng Diyos sa iyong hahawakan, sa iyong lalakaran, sa iyong sasabihin, let me get this one straight thing, that it is not your action that will make everything a blessed one. It is you, the blessed person, hallelujah, ang dadatnan ng lahat ng bagay ito. Kaya ano man ang iyong gawin, mag, mag, magsabi, lumakad, humawak ng anumang mga bagay. It is the blessed person who acts. It is not the actions that make the person blessed. It is the blessed person that acts and makes all the actions a blessed thing. Amen? Hallelujah. Kaya po, uh, tangkilikin natin at uh, palagi nating namnamin ang... Ang reminder po na pagka nandyan ang bukas, bukas na palad ng grasya ng Diyos, hallelujah, tayo pong lahat ay settled. Amen? Magkakapabago-bago ang takbo ng mundo. May climate change, may pandemic. We don't know if there's anything uh, nasusunod pa sa Omicron virus. And prayerfully, wala na po. Hallelujah. If not, maging regular, mag new normal ang lahat. But the thing, sabi nga ni, ng ating po na pag-aralan, everything else will change. Lahat po ng bagay magbabago. But there is one sure thing that will not change. It is God in your life. Kung meron mang hindi magbabago, ang pangako, ang katapatan ng Diyos sa buhay po natin. Hindi natin alam what, what, what lies ahead. But if you have God with you, you can be assured of one thing. Your, your future is bright in Him. You are, your future is secured. So you don't have to worry about everything. Nandiyan yung challenges. May kaba, merong uncertainty, but don't let this uncertainty rule your life. Na para bagang nervyos, uh, tarantasyos, kinakabahan, dahil hindi alam ko anong what lies ahead. But if you have God, He holds your future and you are secured in Him. Amen? 
So buksan natin ng taon, January, ng, ng, hindi lamang po ng magagandang bagay. Lagyan po natin ng magandang impresyon na ang Diyos kahit kailan hindi nagpabaya. Ang Diyos kahit kailan tapat sa atin. We don't know what will happen February, March, April, hanggang December. But one thing is sure, the Lord holds every day of my life and He will make it beautiful in its time. Amen? <coughs> Hallelujah. So, pasimulan po natin muli ng panibagong pangako ng Diyos, although it's in Old Testament, but everything in the Word of God, as He claim it for you, it is for us, and God is promising you, as He said and promised this to our uh, fathers, forefathers in the Old Testament. Genesis chapter 12, verse 2, as God promised this one to Abraham, alam po natin si Abraham, is, this, he is the patriarch of the whole nation, the beloved nation of Israel, the chosen uh, nation of Israel. Na alam po natin si Amang Abraham ang ginamit din to the lineage of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Kaya po yung pong uh, lineage na ito ay dumapo sa atin hanggang sa ministry ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo, spreading out His good news and gospel, not only to the Jews but also to the Gentiles and now to us, the, His church. Hallelujah. Na ang pangako pong ito, kay Abraham ay applicable sa kanila ng mga Hebreo noong unang panahon, but is now applicable to us who are children and sons of the living God. Kaya po sabi ng Panginoon kay uh, Abraham, Genesis 12 verse 2, I will make you a great nation, and I will bless you. I will make your name great, and you shall be a blessing. Tingnan po natin ang pangako ng Panginoon sa kanya. Hallelujah. Ang sabi ng Diyos, pagpapalaan kita para ikaw ay maging pagpapala. So I believe this 2022, if you say amen to that verse, try to recall, dahil napakalalim po ng mensahe pong ito, hallelujah, in terms of God's promise in your life, pag sinimula mo ang pangako at ang pag-claim uh, pag, uh, ng pangako na ito ng Diyos para sa iyo, hindi lamang kay mga Abraham, hallelujah, hindi, hindi, ka, hindi, ka, hindi ka mababagabag, hindi ka, hindi ka totoong magwo-worry because alam mo, somebody is backing you up, somebody is holding you up, Somebody is taking care of you and your family. So this 2022, the Lord's open hand of grace is already stretched out to you to make you great for His glory. Hindi ka gagawing parang kadaki-daki lang to be great in, in your own life, in your own sense. No. God will, will level up everything in your life to give back the glory to His name. Pagpapalain ka ng Diyos, para makita ng lahat ng tao na ang kapurihan ay babalik sa kanya na siyang gumawa nito ng lahat para sa iyo. And God is ready to do all these things. God is ready to bless, to show forth His goodness, His stretch out, hence is already upon you. Hallelujah. For you to receive everything, you get the blessing, He gets the glory. Ulitin ko po, you got the blessing and you will receive the blessing and He will get the glory. Amen. So the Lord's wish, hindi lang akala niyo po ang kayo lang ang may wish upon a star. The Lord is wishing upon himself para pag, pag nag-wish siya automatic masusunod. Di ba wish ko lang parang hindi pa sure kung, ma kung matutuloy. Pero pag ang Diyos nag-wish siya at nangako siya at sinong tutupad siya rin. He is making all to himself fulfilling everything for you. The Lord's wish is to make you complete in all things lacking nothing. Amen. Yan po'y naging uh, patotoo sa aming pong pamilya at alam ko sa maraming pamilyang hindi lamang sa Grace Family to everyone who really embrace God's goodness. Na kung makikita niyo po ang desire, ang puso ng Panginoon ay para po sa kapakanan ng bawat isa. Alam niyo po, hindi complicated ang puso ng Diyos. Hindi po, bang, kaya po maraming, maraming, maraming may wrong impression, eh, wrong notion about who God is in our lives. Akala po ng marami. At tayo po ay, ay sabihin natin napalaki sa ganitong mensahe at sa ganitong pananaw dati, na ang Diyos pagka kinilala mo, magre-require muna siya ng maraming bagay. And before you, com you, you, you comply to these things, bago ka pa pagpalain, kailangan mo makomply ang kanyang mga standards. Alam niyo po, we are, we're not against those things. Pero balik ka rin po natin ng senaryo. Amen? Nais ng Diyos, una pagpalain ka because in our capacity as human being, we really, really cannot please God. So it is God who made the first step for us to be closer to Him. And once we got close to Him, then we got blessed and He gets all the glory. Kaya po ngayon ang buhay ay kumbaga, nagpasimula sa kabutihan niya sa buhay po natin. It is not you who started the good things in your life. It is God. Tandaan niyo po, hindi ikaw kahit kailan 
May purpose, may layunin, pero sa abot ng iyong makakaya, kapos pa rin sa standard na para ikaw at ang iyong buhay ay maging maayos, maging masagana, maging tuwid, at maging ganap sa harapan ng Diyos. It is not you. It is God's goodness. It is God's initiative. It is God's faithfulness. It is God's action. It is Christ's finished work at the cross that made us all righteous and right with God. Amen? So the Lord's wish is to make you complete in all things, lacking nothing. At sino po magbibigay ng completeness na yan? Hindi ikaw, siya rin. Alam niyo po, sa totoo lang, in, yung, pong, yung pong order ng pagiging kompleto natin, sinisimulan po yan ng Diyos in order of things sa buhay po natin. Because once you find out na ito pong mga bagay na ito ay meron ka, pinagpala kang lubos. When you have uh, a blessed families who's with you today, kung hindi man, alam mo, magkalayo man kayo sa ating mga ilang kapatiran nandito, malayo sa kanilang pamilya sa Pilipinas, but as long as they know that their families safe, secured, blessed as they are here in Doha, praise God, pinagpala ka, and God deserves for you to be blessed with your families. Amen? Hindi lang po yung parang ikaw mismo and then uh, the other, the other, the other uh, members are missing. The blessings of God, the goodness of God. Ayaw mong maranasan na ikaw lang ang, 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 ang dinadalaw, hinihipo, minamahal ng Diyos. Gusto mo, pamilya natin. And rightfully, yan naman din ang purpose nating lahat. Maranas ko, ano nararanasan ko? Maranasan ang aking pamilya. Kung ano nararanasan nyo? Maranasan ng inyong buong pamilya. Hindi lamang sa Doha, kundi sa Pilipinas. Amen? Hindi man sa, sa Pilipinas. Kung nasa Brunei man kayo, nasa Canada, nasa Amerika, kung baga ko ano yung tinatama sa mo, hindi ka naging, alam niyo po ang kaganda sa grasya ng Panginoon, hindi tayo naging madamot. Dahil gusto natin yung tinatanggap natin, joy, yung blessings, hallelujah, uh, yung pong all-encompassing blessing ng Panginoon, gusto natin madama ng ating pamilya. To the point that we wanted them to be converted into believing, hallelujah, the Lord is good, hallelujah, and God is alive, and God is God will take care of them. So the Lord wants you to, to complete you with your families. If you have these families, if you had also your health, habang nandyan ka, malakas, kasama ng iyong pamilya, tinatamas ang kalusugan, pinagpala tayong lahat. Again, you may not have all the, the things that you desire. Di ba? May kasabihan nga na parang um, you ask for uh, you ask for many things for you to have a blessed life. But God gave you a blessed life for you to enjoy all things. So, unahin natin yung mas importante. Amen? Huwag tayo mag-asam ng mga bagay na kung mag-aakala natin makakasuffice at the end of the day, hindi naman pala. Because you only need one thing, God and God alone. And God is not just blessing you with His presence. God is blessing you with so many good things. With your, with your families, with your health. Kasama ng iyong pamilya, kasama na yung magandang relasyon sa inyong lahat. Hallelujah, kasama na po sa inyong trabaho. Sa lahat ng bagay, kung, baga, kung meron mang, uh, mga, mga, mga broken relationships and everything, I mean, what, I'm, what I meant is the whole scenario of being in harmony with everyone. Amen? Uh, sa ating mga anak, to, sa ating po mga spouses, sa ating po mga relatives. Hallelujah. Kasi akala natin yung mga glitches po ito. Eh. Akala natin wala tayong problema with, with somebody. Pero alam niyo po, somehow, somehow meron. <laughs> Kaya po, God wants you to be free. Kung meron naman ito, ano man dinidil po dito, uh, unforgiveness, Uh, brokenness, depression, uh, hallelujah, parang meron kang kulang, hindi ka at peace. Hallelujah. When God corrected these things, you will be made whole in Jesus' name. Kasama po din also ang ating soul prosperity. Ano po yung soul prosperity? Yung ating pong uh, spiritual health. Yung ating pong mga tinatanggap. Napakahalaga ng ating pong mga nadidinig weekly. Pagpalainawa ang Diyos, every time you are here, hallelujah, God gets the glory for you being here Kasama po natin every Friday, listening to our daily, uh, motivational daily, inspirational daily. Para po bumalik. Alam niyo po, minsan hindi naman natin kailangan bugbugin ng, bugbugin ng mga, mga pangaral ng ceremony. All we, we need, most of the time, is the reminder that God is with you every single day. Mahal ka ng Diyos. You need to know your rights of, uh, as a Christian, as a believer. You need to know that you are righteous in His sight. You, know, you need to know that your sins are forgiven. You need to know, hallelujah, that God is gracious and God loves you and He is your Father. Hallelujah. Every single day. Not failing you every time. Amen? Hallelujah. Nandyan din po, nais ng Diyos, kakompletohan ng ating pong safety. The Lord wants you and your family not only safe, but saved. Hindi lang po pinag-iingatan, kundi 
ligtas at nililigtas ng Panginoon, kaligtas ay na-offer niya, kasama po dito ang buhay na walang hanggan. Thank you, Jesus. Kasama po dyan yung ating po mga physical, other endeavors, your goals in life, in careers. Hallelujah. God wants you to be to bless and to complete you in all things. Yung endeavors po natin, yung ating pong careers, everything, business, investment, hallelujah. Ano man ito, the Lord will bless you. At nais ng Diyos, kompleto ka. Amen? Kaya ko po hinuli yung finances because uh, minsan may discussion po kami ni Mami na, di ba, nais din naman ng Diyos na gamitin ang resources para pagpalain po tayo. Don't make me, don't uh, take it wrong. Hallelujah. Huwag niyong pong masamain. Kailangan po natin yan. To every part of our families, sa ating pong health, sa relationship. Pag sina Pastor, kailangan ba sa soul prosperity? Yes. If you don't have any gadget to buy and to listen to Pastor Teng, kailangan bumili ng iPhone. <laughs> Amen. So, gagamitin pa rin yung finances. Yung safety. Kung lang, isang kalulugar, magpagawa ng, ng isang lugar o meron ka mga mga uh, pwedeng magamit na kakailanganin ng fund resources for you to be safe and your family. Sa, at, bawa, sa ating pong mga uh, physical shelter sa Pilipinas, kung meron ka din ng resources, why not i-upgrade for more safety year, di ba, at nakalagayan ng iyong pamilya. At syempre, sa ating pong endeavors, kailangan natin yan. So, uh, kaya ko po hinulis because hindi ko po inunan na hindi ka makukumpleto kung walang financial resources. Kung walang, uh, hindi po, kailangan natin siya. Kailangan natin yan. So, God is completing you in all things. Amen? Pero sabi nga, reminder lang po, kung yung finance man ang medyo nagkukulang ka at wala ka sa ngayon, uh, wag mong seryosohin because napakalit ang problema mo kung finances lang ang problema. Amen? Because God can use anyone, anything to bless you. As long as you have your family, your health, uh, your safety, your soul prosperity, your endeavors, your, everything in your life, hallelujah, kompleto ka. Then, siyempre, nice ng Diyos, isama yung material blessings para makompleto at maging pagpapala ka sa iba. And this is the purpose of this message today. The open hand of grace is to bless you. So Genesis 12 verse 2 at magda-dive in po tayo sa siguro baka inamimiss nyo na na part po ng ating pong grace celebration sometimes and messages which is the Hebrew word. Because God says in Genesis 12 verse 2, I will make you. The Lord's promise, I will make you. Say amen. I will make you a great nation and I will bless you. Amen. Pag sinabi ninyo, pagpapalain ka, who is the one blessing? It's, just, it is not, it's not you. It's God who says, I will. He says, I will. I will make you. And namin sabi ng Lord, I will bless you. Now, before we go to this Hebrew word, alam niyo po kasi, when God spoke these promises to Abraham, hindi niya po sinabi ito sa mababaw na Ingles. Ginamit niya po ang Hebrew alphabet na kung saan ito yung lingwahin ng Diyos na sinabi niya, um nalikain ang lahat ng bagay kasama dito ang ang ang, ang pag pag uh, pagwika ng Diyos para pagpalain ka at ang iyong pamilya so th th this is the hebrew alphabet ang ating pong english alphabet i think uh, consists of 26 characters or letters pero sa hebrew alphabet po ay mayroong 22 bakit 22 kasi 2022 amen so, ang Hebrew alphabet po ay napakayaman dahil meron na po itong pictures na kasama. Ibig sabihin, ang isang letter po ay naglalaman po ng with numeric value, with pictures na kahit isa o dalawang letter, sa isang letter pa lang, nandun na po ang yaman, ang ibig sabihin ng news. Hallelujah. Ng, ng letrang ito para pagyamanin mo. How, how much mo na pagsamasamahin ang letrang ito to comprise the whole scriptures of the Bible? So, kung isa o dalawang letra will make a difference in your life, will make an impact in your life, imagine how these words and how these letters have secret na pagka po uh, natin, you will find out it's so rich. Wal walang mali. Nandito na lahat ng mga bagay na gusto na nais ng Diyos malaman po natin. But we will not go away from the topic which is the Lord will bless you. But we will be using this word, hallelujah, the Hebrew alphabet to mark it Hallelujah. Para po makita natin na ano yung nais ng Diyos na gawin para sa'yo. And the word highlighted is the word bless. At ang Hebrew word for the bless, for bless, is barak. Amen? So, sa English ay uh, bless, pero po sa Hebrew, ang Hebrew po at Aramaic, ang, uh, kumaga ito po yan, Hebrew, Aramaic, 
which is a combination of uh, Hebrew and Arabic. So, meron po itong similarity. So, most of the time, it's it's uh, studied for and perceived that the Lord has used the Hebrew word in the Old Testament as well as the Aramaic in the New Testament. It's a combination of Arabic, um, Greek, and Aramaic uh, um, literatures. Amen? But we are studying the original context, which is the Hebrew. So, the Hebrew for the word bless is barak. And by the way, wala po silang, uh, wala po silang uh, A-A-O-O. So, they have Aleph, Bet, Dalet, Gamel. So, ang, ang original po na word na barak ay hindi po five letters. Tatlong letra lang po. B-R-K, which is Bet, Resh, and Kaf. Wala po kasi silang, ang tawag doon? Consonants or vowels? Wala silang vowels. Ang vowels po ay a e i o u so meron lang po silang consonants which comprise for this barak meron three consonants bark b r k bark parang ganun po bark amen so b r k so ito po yung pong word na the lord says i will bark you i will make you a great nation in english pero po sa sa sa, sa hebrew ay ay iba ang uh, pagkakasabi nito but he says he added like I will bless you is I will bark you. Barak you. So, ang barak po ay merong uh, reading from right to left. Makikita niyo po meron pong parang letter C on the right. Uh, reading from right to left. Kanan, papuntang kaliwa. Hindi katulad po natin sa English. From left to right. Sila po ay baligdad. From right to left. So, tatlong letra. Bet, Resh, and Kaf. So, yung nasa kanan po ay letter B, which is bet. Ang bet po sa Arabic ay house. So, kita nyo, kada po meron pong isang letra, meron ng ibig sabihin. May number equivalent. Ang bet po ay number 2. And bet means also uh, house in the Arabic or in Aramaic. Kaya po, bet, resh, cup. Remember, pinag-uusapan pinag po natin ay yung yaman ng salita ng Diyos to uh, implore or to say something and to extend something to you. When God says, I will bless you, He's saying something else. Amen? Ano yung bless? So, ang bless po dito ay BRK, which is Bet, Res, Kaf. Now, pag pinagsama pa po yung pong dalawa o tatlong letter, ang meaning po nitong tatlong letter nito ay bless. Pero pag sinama niyo, pag pinagsama niyo po yung first two letter, the first letter has its own meaning, which is house. Yung first and second, which is Res, Bet and Res, ay meron pong ibig sabihin, uh, pronunciation na BR which is bar ang bar sa Arabic po ay bin or ben amen pag sinabi ang bar po ay son, anak hallelujah sa Arabic po ito po ay bin bin Mahmud di ba? Uh, bin Umran, anak ni Umran anak ni Mahmud kaya po yung English name na Ben Hamin o Benjamin Ang jamin po ay yamin sa Arabic which is right side. So ben right uh, son and then yamin is right. Pag sinabi yung son on the left is ben yasar. Pero sa ating po sa English ay benjamin which is ben yamin in Arabic which is son on the right. Pero ito pong ben na ito sa Aramaic and sa Hebrew is not ben but bar. So you can see and you can hear the word minsan mga uh, quotations from the Bible which says Bar uh, but For example po, ang pangalan po ni Peter ay Simon Bar Jonah Si Simon na anak ni Jonah Simon Bar Jonah Si Bartimaeus po ay hindi pangalan Si Bartimaeus po ay anak ni Timaeus Si Barnabas ay anak po siya ni Nabas or Barabas or anak po siya ni Abbas So Bar means son. So, dito po sa barak, the first two letter speaks of the son. And what good uh, is coming out for this word, which is actually a promise of the Lord, na galing mismo sa Diyos, bakit hindi niya unahin at uh, paliwanag sa iyo na ang kanyang pagbibless ay included po somehow, nandun na yung pangalan ng kanyang anak. And sino po itong anak na bar? Wala pong iba kundi ang ating Panaso Kristo. Bar means son. And who is the son of God who is blessing you? 
Hallelujah. It is Jesus Christ. Jesus, the Son of God, is in the blessing. Ano po itong, uh, ano po itong kaf? Ang kaf po uh, in, the, in, in the Hebrew ay meron pong larawan ng kamay. Kaya po ang bar ay uh, yung kaf na nakaganyan ay meron pong ibig sabihin ng open hand. Hallelujah. So, you can see the word bless is Jesus open hand. Again, Barak means it is the son's open hand. At alam po natin, when Jesus opened his hand, he does miracles and he did miracles. Amen? Katulad po nitong picture na ito. Alam ko, nakita niyo na po ito sa beses. Ito po yung may ketong na lalaki na nagpanood pa tayo ng video before. Na yung isang lalaki yung may ketong na nanais, nakarinig po ng preaching ng Panginoon sa di kalayuan. And then, umusbong yung pananampalataya. And when Jesus saw him, hallelujah, na nandun, nagtatago because a, he was an outcast. Hindi pwedeng, meron siya Omicron, meron siya Delta virus, hindi siya pwedeng sumama sa kalipunan, sa karamihan. But when Jesus saw him, the Lord did not just stretch out his hand to him. Jesus touched him. Hinawakan siya and he was made whole that, that particular time. Amen? So, Jesus healing the leprosy because Jesus has this open hand to bless. At kaya po, di ba, when every, every time we are blessing somebody, when, you are, when we are praying, we are lifting up our hands and we are saying, Hallelujah, Lord, may these hands be blessed because as we bless our children, as we bless our houses, it is just a, a picture and a gesture, a gesture of blessing being released to that particular thing. Kaya po, dung binuksan ng Panginoon ng kanyang kamay, nandun yung kanyang kamay na nagpapagaling Nandun yung kanyang kamay na bumuhay sa mga patay. Nandun yung kanyang kamay na nagpagaling sa, sa, sa mga bulag at ang bulag ay nakakita. Nandun po ang kanyang kamay na nung, 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 nung inihaplos, hallelujah, sa mga taong may sakit, ang lahat ng may sakit ay gumaling. Ang lahat ng tao ay, ay napagpala. Why? Because this is the open hand of who? The open hand of God's Son, Jesus Christ. Barak, the hand of Jesus Christ, Blessing. Amen? Amen? Hallelujah. Meron pong um, isang uh, uh, komentari na galing po kay John Oswald. Si John Oswald po ay uh, isang distinguished professor of the Old Testament in Ashbury uh, Theological Seminary. Ito po ang kanyang sinabi sa word the Barak. Barak means, or to bless means, to confer abundant and effective life. Ang pagdadantay at pagbibigay ng to confer, pag sinabing conferring, you are extending, you are blessing. To confirm abundant and effective life upon something, upon someone. Kaya pag binless mo yung mga anak, binless mo yung tahanan, di ba? Sabi po din sa Deuteronomy 28, when we bless everything, whatever your hand touches, it becomes a blessed thing. Why? Because you're extending the blessing towards that thing and towards your children, towards your spouse, towards your friends, towards your family, towards those who are sick and the sick will recover. Yes. Amen? So sabi niya, to confer abundant and effective life upon something, so whatever that something, your house, your car, hallelujah, yung trabaho mo, kung may pressure man, i-lay hands mo, i-release yung blessing, because the Lord says, as you bless this work, your career, your, your car, your possession, your health, your, your ATM, hallelujah, the Lord will, con will, will confer what? Effective and abundant life. Mabubuhay yung something and someone that you hold with your blessing. With the blessing, hallelujah, conferring to that thing or to that uh, person. To bless in the Old Testament means to endure power. To endure with power. In-extend ang, ang kapangirihan. Para ano? For success. Amen. Say amen. When somebody bless you, it is a blessing for success. For prosperity. Amen. For fecundity. Fruitfulness. Amen. Sa mga grace pam, kailangan natin ng fecundity. I bless you with fecundity in Jesus' name. Amen. Uh, childbearing uh, blessings to all those couples na hallelujah, magkakaroon this year in Jesus' name. Amen. Longevity or longevity in life and etc. So I mean to bless is to extend hallelujah blessing to anything or to something to someone with the mindset that Jesus' hands is open to bless. Amen? Hallelujah. If you're ready today, praise God. Buksan ng 
may bagong bahay ka, may bagong sasakyan ka, may yung mga anak mo, pagpalain, may kapangyarihan. Huwag gamitin ang kamay sa pagsampal, sa pagpalo, sa pagcurse, sa, pag, sa pagduro-duro. Gamitin ang kamay sa pagpapala. Being, being an extension of God's blessing, of God's hand, blessing something and blessing someone, especially your family. Amen? Thank you, Jesus. Kaya po, ang sabi po, paalala natin sa Genesis 12 verse 2 again, I will make you a great nation and I will barak you. I will barak you, the Lord says. I will bless you. It is Jesus' open hand. Now, thank you, Jesus. Hindi po natapos ang Genesis 12 verse 2 dito. Ang sabi ng Lord, I will bless you. Ang resulta po nais ng Diyos ay yung pangalawa. Mayroong pangalawa. And make your name great and you shall become a blessing. So, hindi ka lang pagpapalain para maging pagpapala ka and you yourself is a blessed person. No! God wants you what? To become a blessing. So, kanina yung bless is bark the open hand of, of Christ, the open hand of the Son of God. Pero nakabukas lang siya. Ano yung dapat lumabas dun po sa kamay na yun? And make your name great and you shall become a blessing. The blessing word here is not barak, but barakha. Barakha. With a hay on the last part. So, review po natin. Ano yung barak? Is bet, resh, kaf. Which means the first two letter being the Son of God, Christ. This is bar, son, and the open hand. It is the open hand of Christ. This is to bless. But baraka is the open hand of Christ, of grace, of... Hallelujah. <laughs> it is the open hand of God's grace in our life. So, hindi ka lang pagpapalain, pinagpapala ka ng Diyos ng magagandang bagay, pinagpala ka ng Diyos ng Kanyang grasya. Bukas, napalad ng Diyos para sa'yo at para sa iyong pamilya. It is God's open hand of grace towards you and your family. That's why, nung mapag-aralan ko po ito kanina, sabi ko, sapak, sapul, yung pong, yung pong ating celebrate today. At hindi lang po nakabukas ang palad ng Diyos for, for no reason at all. God's hand is open to give you His grace. What is grace? Getting the good things that you don't deserve. Again, grace, the open hand of God's grace means grace is you receive the good things that we don't deserve. Amen? So, handa ang Diyos na pagpalain ka ng mga bagay na animo ay paminsan-minsan ay hindi natin dapat tanggapin. Kaya nga po nakaka-enjoy ang maging member, hindi lang po maging member, kundi ang maranasan ng spirito ng grasya ng Diyos. Because mas madalas tinatanggap natin ang mga bagay na hindi naman natin dineserve. Amen? Hallelujah. Uh, Pastor, ano yung mga uh, salary namin? Ang salary po ninyo ay hindi blessing uh, directly because pinagpaguran mo yan. Nagtrabaho ka ng 12 hours a day, 8 hours a day, and at the end of the month, tinanggap mo yung karampatang uh, uh, sahod sa iyong pinagtrabahuhan. So that means pinagtrabahuhan. Hindi masama. Kailangan po natin magtrabaho to, to sustain our family. But what on top of this of, of this salary is but we, 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 we believe and we declare additional for this salary is the blessings of God. Yung mga bagay na tinanggap mo as an extra na hindi mo naman pinagpaguran, hindi mo pinagpagalan. Actually, hindi ka deserve but the Lord added for you. Why? Because this year for you, God says, this is the open hand of God's grace para maranasan mo yung sobrang pagmamahal niya sa iyo, sa iyong pamilya. At nice ng Diyos, hindi lang ito maging material. Gagamitin ang material, ang financial, to bless your family, to bless your health, to bless everything, and for you to become a blessing. The Lord's purpose to open up this year. Hallelujah. That's why His, His hands are open to bless you is because God not just wants you to become, to, to be a blessed person, God wants you to be a blessed blessing. Tandaan niyo po, if now you can say, even so today, that you are a blessed person, hallelujah, uh, pwede ko masabi, you are a blessed, a walking blessing everywhere you go. Ikaw ay, uh, ikaw ay pinagpalang taong, lag, ikaw ay, 
you are a, 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 a walking blessing. Hindi ka walking dead. Tigilan natin yung walking dead kasi lahat ng, lahat ng lalakaran niya namamatay at siya, siya mismo patay. So we are uh, uh, we are not a walking dead, we are a walking blessing. That means blessed ka ng lahat ng bagay na nais ng Diyos sa iyong buhay. Again, hindi lang po sinusukat sa finances. Kasama po ang material at finances. Because how can you be a blessing if you don't have it? Hindi ka makakatulong. The poor cannot help the poor. So, might as well believe God will prosper you to, for you to become a blessing to your families, to your friends, to extend this this hand of God na gagamitin ng kamay mo. Hindi itikom, kundi buksan para pagpalain din sila. Sa unang tinanggap mo galing sa Diyos. Amen? Hallelujah. What a way to start the year. Kung hindi niyo po ito dinidesire, pagpamanhin niyo po, pero ang pastor po ninyo dinidesire po ito every now and then together with my family. Kami po mag-asawa, isa yung aming pananaw palagi that every time we want to become a channel of God's blessing, na kung ano yung tinatanggap namin, hallelujah, maging pagpapala sa inyo pong lahat at maging sa aming po mga, mga kaibigan and to reach out to anyone, hallelujah, na pwedeng madala sa paano ng Panginoon because of His blessings. Amen? Yung mga gamitin ito para maipakilala natin ang grasya ng Diyos buhay, ang, ang puso ng Diyos ay para sa Kanya at nais at layo ng Diyos para sa Kanya ay magandang buhay. Kung gagamitin ka, alam niyo po ang prayer namin minsan ni Mami, hindi po kami gamitin sa channel blessing. Kayo mismo po, directly pagpalain ng Panginoon. We don't, we're not lying. Every time we are sharing, prayer namin dati na, Lord, gamitin mo kami, gamitin mo ang family, daluyan kami ng blessing, and still, dinadaluyan po, praise God for His glory, all glory goes to Him. Pero nag-iba yung prayer namin minsan. Lord, why not? Kung hindi mo kami gamitin, dahil meron na kami separate blessing. Lord, idirekta mo na yung blessing sa Grace Family. Na sila man din mismo makaranas nito, first hand, hindi na dumating sa amin. Para hindi na kami pasalamatan, Pastor, salamat sa inyo ni Mami. Hindi na po. Lord, salamat, pinagpala mo kami at ang pamilya. With all the blessings that we needed. Hindi lang po financial. Nandiyan ang relationship in the family being corrected. Yung future ng mga anak settled. Hallelujah. Yung love in the family overflowing. Alam niyo po ba? Praise God. Have you have you experienced? Because uh, uh, recently and in, in the past uh, days, especially na mag-greet po tayo ng Christmas and New Year, and I have sent to almost all of you yung pong picture ng aming family. For, this is for God's glory. This is for God's glory. And this is for God's glory. Na meron po ako na sendan mga kaibigan, kapatid, na hindi na po madalas makita. Pero nang sinend ko po yung aming uh, Christmas and New Year, especially yung New Year na medyo may kalokohan po yung aming pwesto na binuhat po yung aming pangalawa si Carl. Kumaga po, nasasabi na, uh, sabi niya, Brother Teng, uh, Pastor, Kuya, Kuya Teng, Nakakainggit naman dahil kitang-kita sa inyo yung pagpapala ng Panginoon. Hallelujah. All the glory goes to God in saying, wala kaming ginawa. Nagpa-picture lang. But yung impact ng pagpapala ng Diyos ay nandun. Why? Because they can see the glory of the Lord inside your blessed families. We're not promoting. Hindi po kami mga Facebook, social media stuff. Hindi po kami... Wala po kami araw-araw sa Facebook. Wala po. Wala kami stories every time. Hindi po namin sinabing bawal. But it's not our forte. Uh, for, we, are, we are happy where we are. At uh, kaya po, uh, praise God, what I'm saying is, meron na ba nakapagsabi sa inyo? Yung picture nyo pa lang, nakita na yung glory at kalwalatian ng Panginoon. Such a blessing because hindi mo para bayaran yung kaibigan. Uy, uh, uh, dala akong picture sa iyo ah. Bigyan ka ng 50 reals. Mag-comment ka naman. Maganda ako. Eh, binayaran. I mean, na, 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 na manipulate. Pero such a blessing to hear a comment coming from uh, uh, one uh, even commented, sabi niya, I'm so touched seeing your lovely and blessed family. So, kumbaga, wala ka namang ginawa. Senior mo lang. Nagsay ka ng Happy New Year from Lainez family. Or Happy New Year from Santos, from Ibanez, from Paranas family, from Lumbab family, from Ch from Chapo family, from from uh, to every family from Grace family. Sinabi mo lang, uh, uh, Merry Christmas, Happy New Year from Grace Family. Nakita yung inyong ngiti. Nakita yung pagpapala na buhay sa inyong mga buhay. Pagpapala po yan. Because they can see in us not only the material things. Hindi nga nakita yun eh. Ang nakita yung pagpapala ng Diyos na nasa inyong mga pamilya. And I hope you received that kind of comments because we did and I did. All the glory goes to the Lord. Amen? So hallelujah. So, the Lord is completing everyone and God desires 
pag pagtayo mo pa lang sa opisina, ramdam ni nila nandoon ang presensya ng Diyos. Hallelujah. Pag pag uh, pagpasok mo sa isang room, yung atmosphere nagbabago. Dating magkakagalit, hindi nag hindi nagkikita-kita, hindi nag uh, hindi nag uh, parang may mga something na negative ang vibe. Pero nung pumasok ka, nandoon yung positive and blessed uplifting vibe within the within the company. Amen. Katulad po ng sinabi ni Bishop Willie, I stand to that and I say aloud, Amen. Na kung, kung hindi man, kung kaya mong paniwalaan, kaya pinapagpala ang kumpanya nyo dahil sa iyo. Kaya binebless I mean, yung, 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 yung business na meron ka is because of you. Kaya bless ang Qatar because nandito ang Grace Family. <laughs> Hallelujah. If you can believe that thing. Amen. Kaya tayo bless. Qatar is a blessing to us. This is our second home. We love the country so much. Amen. Alam ko, mahal nyo din ang Qatar. Then again, on our part spiritually, Qatar is blessed because of you and I. Lalo pa sa, lalo pa sa ating nakakaunawa na ang Diyos nagmamahal sa atin. Kaya pag mahal tayo ng Diyos, hindi niya tayo pwedeng pabayaan dito sa lugar na ito. At gagamitin niya ang lugar na ito para pagpalain kau at ako. Hallelujah. So nakikita niyo po yung mutual benefit. Qatar is blessed because of you. And you are blessed because of Qatar. Hallelujah. Ganun ang, ganun ang, 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 ang our formula ng Panginoon. How he will use the natural and you will be used for the spiritual things. Hallelujah. Kaya praise God, Grace Family, you're so blessed. Being again, 2022, declaring, lahat kayo po malapit sa puso ng Diyos. I believe that with, with all of my heart. Oh, hallelujah. So much for the good encouragement because I can feel the Lord's love and grace to all of us in Jesus' name. Now, sa akin pong pagtatapos, alam niyo po yung katotohanan ng blessing, ay marami po ito, but mag-share lang ako ng tatlo. Alam po, ang, ang blessing, the true source of the blessing ay walang iba kundi ang Diyos. The true source of blessing is God and God alone. Yes. Amen? Pag sinabing blessing, galing sa Diyos. Period. Wala na tayong pag-usapan. Eh kasi naman, ang, ang talino ko, ang smart ko eh, tsaka yung, ah, yung, yung galing ko kaya sa trabaho, kaya nung magbigay sila ng blessing, Uh, ako'y pinakamalaki kasi ang dami kong nagawa sa, sa company. You know? No, the true source of your blessing is God and God alone. God may use you, God may have trained you, uh, the Lord has uh, given you provision for you to be a blessing to the company, but the blessing comes from Him alone. Amen? Ang sabi po ulit ni, uh, praise God, ni John Oswald, ang sabi niya, whatever may have been the ancient Near Eastern conception of the source of of the blessing. The Old Testament sees God as the only source. Hallelujah. Siya po yung isa po sa mga isa sa pinakamadali yung nag-aral po ng, 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 ng uh, scholar of the Old Testament. He said the Old Testament sees God as the only source of the blessing. Amen? And true enough, James 1.17 Whatever is good and perfect is a gift coming down to us from God our Father. It is God who blesses you coming down. The source of true blessing is only God. Hallelujah. Who created all the lights in the heavens, He never changes or casts a shifting shadow. Next, the truth, next truth about the blessing, the blessing, hallelujah, reverses the curse in your life. Amen. Ang blessing, uh, binabago, ano may reverses, binabaligtad ang pangit na circumstansya ng iyong buhay. True enough, kung hindi ka curse, Blessed ka. At kung di ka blessed, sorry to say, you are cursed. You are doomed to fail. You are doomed to depression. But stand as a blessed person because you you are. Amen? Tandaan mo, you stand not a defeated, a failure, a depressed, a no one. Hindi po. You stand as a blessed, uh, righteous, beloved, grace individual. Naalala niyo po, again, story po ni King Bala, killing uh, Bal uh, Balak. na gusto kay Propeta Balaam i-curse ang uh, lipi ng Israel. Sabi po ng Numbers 23 verse 8, and Balaam, yung pong propeta, binabayaran to ha, bayarin siya. Ang sabi nung hari, i-curse mo yung, yung, yung mga lipi ng Israel na dumadaan sa atin para masunog sila, malasin sila, uh, sabi po ni King Balak kay Balaam. Now, sabi, po ni, ah, sabi po ni Balaam, ano siya, neutral siya, hindi siya godly uh, prophet, neutral siya. Pero nararamdaman niya yung, yung, pong, uh, yung pong something na hindi tama. Sabi niya, how shall I curse whom God has not cursed? Paano ko susumpain ang mga taong hindi naman sinumpa ng Diyos? That is Numbers 23, verse 8a. Uh, 
Pagdating po ng Numbers 23, verse 20, ang sabi niya, hindi ninyo mapigilan. Behold, I have received a command to bless. God has blessed and I cannot reverse. God has blessed and I cannot reverse it. So when you're a blessed person, you are not a cursed person. Blessing reverses the curse in your life. Hallelujah. God's blessing of healing is reversing your diseases in your life. God's blessing of provision is reversing the poverty, the, 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 the shortcomings and, and, and uh, uh, deficiencies in your life materially. God is reversing, hallelujah, the peace, the harmony and unity of the family from the broken ones and stripes in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. God, whatever God has, the blessing, it reverses whatever negative things in your life today. Because God, that is what uh, the blessing does for us. It reverses the negative things in your life. Say amen, church. Because as you say amen, it reverses now. <laughs> as you say amen, it is the process in the process now of God reversing the, the negative plans of the devil in your life and put the plan of God to be added, hallelujah, in your life today. In Jesus' name. And that's the third thing. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ang pangatlo po, hallelujah, is when God reverses, uh, when the blessing reverses the curse in your life, hindi lang po binabaligtad at binabago ng blessing ang curses in your life. God, the blessing adds on what, what heaven has. Hindi lang po binabaligtad ng blessing yung curse sa buhay ninyo. And you become a blessed person. And then what? The, the blessing add on heaven's best in your life. Dinadagdag ng langit ang lahat. I mean po, saan pupunta ang, ang, ang biyaya ng langit? Sa mga pinagpalang nila lang na katulad nyo at katulad ko. Saan bababa ang plano ng Diyos? Sa mga taong pinili niya, ikaw at ako. Na pinagbayaran ng dugo ng ating Panginoon sa Kristo. Amen? So, the blessing comes from God. The true blessing comes from God. The source of it is God. Next, it reverses the curse in your life. Next, it adds on what all, hallelujah, all what heaven has for you. Hallelujah. I'm so blessed. And lastly, grace made it all possible. Ang grasa ng Diyos, hallelujah, ginawa itong posible sa iyo at sa akin. Thank you, Jesus. What an awesome position we are in. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, church, you position yourself for the provision of God. Position for provision. Amen? Ihanda, ilagay ang sarili kung saan at nais ng Diyos. I believe with all of my heart, masyado po kong confident ngayong taon na to, the Lord will do something in the Grace family. Amen? The Lord will do something for you and your family. The Lord will do something for me and my family. And I believe it so in Jesus' name. I say aloud, Amen and Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Going back for the last verse, ulitin po, nais ng Diyos, ikaw ay pagpalain, kaya kanya be less. I will make you a great nation and God did bless you hallelujah and he didn't stop there ang sabi ng Diyos and make your name great and you shall become a blessing kung titignan niyo po sa mga latter verse pa ng Genesis chapter 12 alam niyo po nakalagay doon meron isang verse I think verse 3 it says all the families of the earth are blessed because of you amen Genesis chapter 12 verse 3 hindi ko na po naidagdag ang sabi po doon all the families all the earth are blessed because of you. So in saying, para praise, your family is blessed because of you. Your company is blessed because of you. Your community is blessed because you're living there. Hallelujah. Whatever you, wherever you are, your business is prospered because of you. Your investment is prospered because of you. Whatever you do, it's blessed in Jesus' name. So what a better way to start off hallelujah, this year to acknowledge that the open hand of grace is the hand of Jesus Christ blessing you with grace. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Alam niyo po, marami tayong pag-aaral later on, but I believe this is one of the pwede nating baunin, stand, stand tall, not because of you, it is because the Lord is with you. And whoever has the, the, the blessing and the presence of the Lord, He is a successful, a blessed man. Yes. Amen? Hallelujah. Grace family, you are so blessed as we pray. And thank God for this message. I hope you are blessed. I hope you are blessed. I am blessed. I am blessed. I hope you are in Jesus' name. Father God, in Jesus' name, maray pong salamat, Panginoon, sa oras pong ito, sa pagkakataon, muli kami po yung nagkasama-sama, Panginoon, sa biyaya ng iyong grasya, tatayuan, Panginoon, ng iyong pangako, na ikaw, O oh Diyos, ikaw lamang at wala ng iba, ang susi at ang pinaka-importanteng bagay at tao sa buhay po na yun. Lord, we may have 
uh, we may not have all the things but if we have you inside us and with us and for us hallelujah we are the most blessed person that is in jesus name why because it is jesus christ who is in us who has blessed us with his grace thank you lord sa lahat ng bagay pang ito even so lord god we believe that the blessing we have today we're not we're not uh, we're not so much of the material blessing lord god we are for the completeness of your blessing blessing our families blessing our help protecting us uh, hallelujah favoring us in everywhere lord god and even so lord god enriching our resources our material blessings and finances lord god all encompassing encompassing blessings lord god you deserve for all of us and we believe it we have it today because you are with us lord we thank you panginoon as the blessing says lord god through blessings i galing po panginoon sa iyo and we say amen because you are the one giving us these blessings blessing of life blessing of joy peace and love and blessing uh, uh, me and my family lord god that this blessing lord god reverses everything in our life hallelujah from from bad to being good and this blessing lord god hallelujah is being added upon the heavens best for us and it is grace made it all possible in jesus name father god maraming salamat even so lord god today the blessings are extended to each and everyone's family in jesus name today because you are with them lord bless them directly today in jesus name and uh, i don't have anything to say lord god but thank you because you promise you will do it for all of them and for all of us because you are faithful and this is your desire for us today in jesus name father god we thank you we love you and we give you praise the highest glory and honor for such a promise that is now a provision yes, the blessedness of each and every one of us mm. under your good grace and gracious grace we thank you lord and we bless you this is our thanksgiving in the most lovely gracious great faithful sweetest name there is his name is jesus christ everyone said amen